Peggy 16. Hej och välkommen till Uppsala Sverige här hos Machine Games. We are really excited to finally be able to share our work on Indiana Jones. Since the first film came out, Indiana Jones has always represented the ultimate adventure. Even today, it's one of the most iconic franchises in pop culture. In this game, you aren't just playing as Indy, you are Indiana Jones. You will see through his eyes and experience a journey that we hope lives up to the proud legacy of Indiana Jones. When Todd Howard first told us about his vision for the game, we knew we would be a very good fit to help bring it to life. I've wanted to make an Indiana Jones game forever. I'd had this idea for what it would be like and the story, what Indy was going after, what period of his life it was in, what kind of arc he was going to have. And as the years went on, I thought, who would be like the best studio in the world to make this? And it was my friends at Machine Games. I can remember pitching Lucasfilm on the game and being, you know, a little bit nervous because look, it's, you know, Indiana Jones and their response was just overwhelmingly positive and just that excitement has bled through the whole project and they have just been so trusting and supportive of everything that we want to do with the game. It's been a long time. I've been a fan of this my whole life and I couldn't be more excited to show you what the team here has been up to. Let's take our first look at the new Indiana Jones game. Let me tell you what you are missing, Dr. Jones. While you were playing your pointless game, I was playing you. You're wondering if maybe you should have built yourself a life of meaning instead of ending up here, dead and forgotten in the sense of Africa. <laughs> Myths. History. Just different ways to interpret the past. Thousands of years of humanity's thoughts and beliefs scattered and buried. Just waiting to be found. You can't just run away from your problems, Indiana. Watch me. Throughout history, mankind has built sites of great spiritual significance. If you were to draw a line through these ancient sites around the globe, you get a perfectly aligned circle. I've had run-ins with these guys before. Trust me. It ain't a walk in the park. Okay, then. Let's see if you can keep up. What do you mean if I could keep up? <laughs> Patron of the fallen angels. Protector of the... Troop. Kulimani, the Great Circle. <laughs> you have any idea how old that was? Indiana Jones is such an iconic character, and he means so much to so many people. Everyone here at the studio has their own indie stories and memories. 
Most of us grew up with his adventures and have been fans of the movies and the character for years. He's a brilliant archaeologist, he's a charismatic everyman, he's passionate and determined. And for us, he's synonymous with adventure. Now we have the opportunity to tell a new Indiana Jones story for a modern gaming audience. Our game is all about putting you in Indy's shoes, letting you see and feel what he sees and feels. For us at Machine Games, we do that best through first person. It's the ideal perspective to bring you into the rich, exciting and interactive world we've built. We believe that being up close and personal to the adventure is key, making each action feel like your own. Whether it's cracking your whip, solving puzzles in ancient temples, or seeing your knuckles go bloody in a fist fight, all of these moments are much more intense in first person. But we still want you to have those moments. Seeing his iconic silhouette with the hat, the whip, and so for things like cutscenes and environmental traversal, we pull the camera back for a third person view. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is set between Raiders of the Lost Ark and The Last Crusade. When our game begins, Indiana is working at Marshall College. He wakes up in the middle of the night to the sounds of a break-in and rushes to confront the thief in the college museum. The mysterious giant of a man makes off with what seems to be a historically insignificant artifact, sparking Indiana's curiosity. Who the hell are you? Following the trail, Indiana heads to the Vatican, hoping to learn why this particular relic was stolen, and discovers that things aren't what they appear. He starts pulling at the strings of a mystery, and it all unravels until he has no choice but to see it through to the end, whatever the end may be. On next plane to Rome, stop. Need help, stop. Meet me in Vatican, stop. We always talk about how clever Indiana Jones is. That had to be one of our guiding principles when we were thinking about the type of game we were making. It wouldn't be Indy if he wasn't using his wits to get through the situation. The most authentic Indiana Jones experience we can make is the one that makes you think first. Get in the hang of this. Sure, there will be some obstacles that will be more easily overcome with the revolver or a gun taken from a disarmed guard. But I think most of the time you'll have more fun and, to be honest, a more genuine Indy experience by finding more clever ways to solve a problem. We always want to be offering more solutions, whether it's trying a different path through the environment to get around enemies, observing enemy patrols and using them to your advantage, or using the tools at your disposal, like the whip. It's an amazing global adventure, with action propelling you through your journey. We have these really diverse environments for you to explore. Indy's journey will take him to the forgotten temples of Sukhothai, the pyramids of Egypt, the snow-peaked Himalayas, and beyond. We look carefully at each location and the time period the game is set in, and we're trying to make it as authentic and accurate as possible. We love creating rich, vibrant worlds, and in this game, we also had the goal of making it feel like a true cinematic Indiana Jones adventure. One of the biggest ways to do that is with the music. John Williams is the original composer for the indie films, and we're really lucky to have found Gordy Hubb, a composer who's been able to capture Williams' essence with his score for The Great Circle. We also take a very movie-like approach to things like cinematics. We're very physical with our production style. We use a lot of stunt actors. Things like this help us bridge the gap between making a game and making a movie. And of course, our characters do a lot to help bring the world to life as well. Next to Indy, Gina is our other main protagonist. Where Indy is pursuing answers just for the sake of curiosity, Gina has a personal stake in getting to the bottom of the core mystery. Gina is an investigative reporter who has a lot riding on this adventure. She's been tracking a lead for some time, and now she's found an ally in this determined American professor. Their paths are intertwined, and they'll need each other in order to get to the bottom of this mystery. Okay, then. Let's see if we can keep up. Fight. What do you mean if I can keep up? 
We always love our villains and think we might have found our favorite one yet in Emmerich Voss. He's this intensely psychological man. He's obsessed with the human mind and manipulating it. He's highly intelligent and the perfect foil for Andy. They're both brilliant people, compelled by their passions and obsessions, but driven down wildly different roads. He creeps up on you and gets under your skin like he gets under in the skin. It's captivating. Dead and forgotten in the sense of Africa. One of our models for Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is adventure first. But in every indie adventure, there are always those moments where he finds himself in the action. That's been one of those balancing acts for us, and we've ended up with this sort of hybrid experience that mixes melee combat, stealth, and gunplay. How you approach any given situation is up to you. You may choose to sneak around an enemy patrol, or maybe you'll just pick up a shovel and whack them on the back of their head. And when you can't use your wits, you got in this most iconic tool. Just like you see in the movies, one of our goals has been to make the whip as fun and multi-purposed as possible. We want it integrated into every aspect of the game. You can use it as a traversal tool to make your way around the environment. You can use it as a distraction. And yes, you can absolutely use it in combat. Everything you'd expect from in this whip, and hopefully a little bit more. Puzzles are a key feature in our game. The spirit of discovery is so important to Indiana Jones. Obviously, there are a handful of puzzles on the main path, but a lot of the puzzles are optional and are just there for the players who want to experience them. Epic traps, small secrets, and hidden puzzles that blend right in with their surroundings. One thing I love about our game is the level of interactivity that we have. We have this world of mystery where anything could potentially hide a secret. The more you look, the more you'll discover. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I want to thank you all for joining us for our big reveal of Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Machine Games is known for creating these roller coaster experiences with huge set pieces, surprising twists, and immersive narratives. It's exciting for us that we have been able to stay so true to the Indiana Jones franchise and create such an authentic experience while still being able to showcase what makes us us. We are making a game for everyone, whether you are very familiar with the franchise or not. Because at the heart of Indiana Jones is an incredible adventure, and I think that's something everyone wants to be part of. I'm also very excited to announce that Indiana Jones and the Great Circle will be coming later this year, and we cannot wait to share more soon.